So that is the idea of tonight's little fun. And so I thought, let me come down in my jammies and gone. And why not? Why should you not be closer and closer to me? Of course, we won't do it in a public satsang, you know. But it was my family. Ah. The Father's Day, walking with his stick and his jammies and his gown or whatever have you. Ah. I try to teach in so many ways how you could be just yourself and to be yourself but to find the way of total naturalness isn't that what we teach to make yourself be totally free and just be your natural self. I'm not shy in coming down in my jammies and my gown. I'm not. And who wants to be separated with the Father? You come closer and closer to the Father. And the Father comes closer and closer to the That is the art of life. Hmm? We are not apart or separate at all from you. Not at all. I'm always with you and with thee in total respect. and being with someone that loves you, then you can learn how to accept the father that walks around in his jammies with you. Learn this lesson now and what it means. Just be yourself and be together today and forevermore. That you my kids, sons, daughters, whatever, are always with me. When that realization dawns, you will find life becoming so much happier and It is the quality of life that we have to develop. Quantity means nothing but the quality. Hmm? As that one giant, Alexander the Great, said, uh, and he died so young, I think it was about 21, 22. One moment of glory hmm? is worth so many years of living life without glory. And you are glory. You are glorified. 
Don't you know that? It would be surprising if you do not know, because I could only see glory, glory, glory all around me. For there is nothing else but divine glory that flows through us. Yet thinking is a power that could be used so wisely. But how many do that? Hmm? It's a tool that has to be used. There are so many different kinds of tools, you know. <laughs> but use this as a tool, an instrument of power that could devour all the sense of thinking that you are the doer hmm? of all that is done and of all that is doing. But you are not the doer. You are not which is done. And you are not the doing. So we progress from mind to mind from soul to soul, from heart to heart, you describe it. And I describe that describes <coughs> the power of our Father. So be the mother or the father and just live naturally. And when this is achieved by you, you will find that life could never be blue. And you know what I mean by that. Not to be blue, to be happy. And that is you. So I cannot understand why you're going like this. You are the designer of life. Design it, put it through the machine, and whoops, 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 it does it. A thousand of the t shirts. Hmm? It just doesn't spill any tea on it, so it makes a cloth dirty. That is the beauty of life. That is the joy of life. Life is nothing else but the creation of our own little minds, uh, which we conceive to be the doer of life. And yet, if you go deeper down, a little deeper, you will start to realize that you are not the doer. Everything is done. Can you make the machine run? 
to print the symbols or whatever on the tea shed. Do you see the art? I'm going to manufacture dentures. Your process, prosthetics, prosthetics, right. <laughs> I'll rather do thetics than be a pros. I don't know what you call it in this country. Nevertheless, it's not important. But the thetics involves a thetic. And the aesthetics of life is to live in that moral form that does not harm you. And what is morality in any case? It is bullshitology. Morality is something that keeps one together in one's life. Morality, ethicality, and whatever you have is so necessary in our lives. It's to keep us straight on the path. It is made to keep us together in one piece. One piece, peace. How do you spell peace? Is it P I E C E? Huh? Chuck away that little eye there. Come on, do it. Chuck away the eye. Of your little self. Then the word becomes P E A C E instead of P I E A C E. You see how it goes together? Huh? So why should we just all fall into pieces? No. No, no, we've got the wrong handle of the stick. Huh? This here up top is more supportive hmm? than that. You can't walk that way. You'll slip and break your blimmin' asses. So, these are little secrets which brings us to peace. And peace is not just a concept, but it is an experience of life itself. How many know the meaning of life? You don't. That's for sure. Do you know why I say this? Because you do not live life. So how could you know the meaning of life if you don't live it? 
is the meaning of everything lies in the living of it. And that definable, undefinable it is life itself in its fullest, fullest, fullest glory. That is life. The tree of life is so splendid in its various forms, all its branches, its leaves, in a myriad ways. And who said accompanies itself to the breeze? Huh? that sings its own a particular song. Blowing through the branches and the leaves, what a beautiful symphony it composes. Please, 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 listen to my words, if you can. and listen to the symphony of life. And yet, you can be totally at ease. How many times have you sat down to listen to a beautiful piece of music? Hmm? And just felt it could be Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, whoever, whoever your favorite composer is, and just sat and listened. And how many times ask yourself, you have been at ease. What I'm trying to say is this. Just be there, not so. Let the music flow and flow with it. What am I doing now? I'm not lecturing. No, I'm not. I'm singing to you the song of life. जाने रहो कहाँ तू जाएगी जाने रहो कहाँ तू जाएगी If you want to go, go. But where are you going? जाने रहो कहाँ तू जाएगी आने रहो मेरे पास वहाँ है दिल की आस instead of moving that way to go away Shorty, come, come, and come closer to my heart. Huh? That would be the life's hope. Tere liye kitna ne gumaya Tere liye For you, I have lost everything, and for you, I've come. Tere liye me kitna gumaya, tere liye me me aaya. Run. 
rangoli rang rangoli nikarte the colors of life i portray <laughs> rang rangoli nikarte hai kis liye is rango of life it is for you that i do it to show you the very colors of life lekin ek cheez me tujhe kahu lekin ek cheez mein tujhe kahu is rango mein tere dil mein ya various hues and colors of life may be a remembrance of me in your heart tere liye tere liye kaise kahu what else what else can i say to you tere liye tere liye main aaye tere dil mein yaad rahu i've come for you i've come for you and remember me in your heart rang rang li rang rang li piche mere phirti hai in all these various hues and colors my brush is flowing rang rang li kaite me tujhe this is what i'm telling you so in all these various hues and colors my brush is flowing creating what are we creating yehi me kahu sab rang rang me yaad raho that's in every color in every hue that you will remember me hum banate hain tere jeevan ke dil aur sab rang 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 waha mil but what i'm trying to do is take all the various hues of the various colors and bring it into such harmony so that i could be in your heart and that is the art of supreme art So what we have to do is to harmonize our lives with all the various colors that form life. And when they can be harmonized and put together in a pattern, in a form of beauty.
empty. Then don't you think our lives can become really beautiful? Huh? Just so who is the creator of it all? Yes, you, 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 you. You are the creator of it all, helped by the supreme creator that knows it all. Ranga ranga kese me banao Ranga ranga me kese me lao Laugh is so uh, rhythmic was above, laugh above, ah. <laughs> and that is where life's laughter must take you above, above your little self. And when you reach there, you find the glory not of God. No, you won't. But you find the glory of yourself because you are all glorious, shining in divinity. And that's what you are. So why Involve yourself in insecurity and impurity and uh, uh, all that rubbish. Why? Not necessary. You are pure and you are godly and goodly. You are the product of divinity and divinity does not produce the rubbish that you think you are. You created yourself as you are yourself now and today. He was just the impetus, the energizing force that helped you create yourself of what you are yourself today. Do you see, I'm always trying to give you, my beloveds, a different way of looking at things. And by finding alternate ways of looking at things, you yourself must find your real way. You are the manifestation of the manifest polygy. To add on, to your question of this morning, I think. Yeah, something like that. So let the manifestations do it all. And you sit back as I'm sitting back. But you empower manifestation to work to perform the actions in life as it is needed whenever and whatever. These things I'm telling you about, I don't know how many of you could understand it, but it's the deepest philosophical truths you could ever come about on. 